Hello. Um, I had a friend that wanted me to read this yesterday, and I didn't, so I'm going to try to read it today. It's Psalms 19. Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day and night. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where the voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoice, rejoiceth as a strong man to run the race. His going forth is from end of the heavens, and his circuit unto the ends of the earth. Uh, ends of it. I'm sorry, I'm going to read that one again. His going forth is from the ends of the heavens, and his circuit unto the ends of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise and simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, are right rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes the fear of the lord is clean enduring forever the judgment of the lord the judgments of the lord are true and righteous altogether more to be desired are they than gold yea much fine gold sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb moreover by them is the servant warned and in keeping of them is the great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou from, me, from secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let thy words of thy mouth and the meditation of thy heart be accepted in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And I want to read this one just because it's one of my favorites. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will, feel, I, will, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. He has amazing grace on us. That's what forgives us of our sin. God. Jesus died so we could be forgiven of our sin. He wants to forgive us of our sins. He wants us to come to him and serve him. He has such amazing grace is what I'm trying to say. And mercy and love. He wants everybody to be forgiven before it's too late. Nobody's guaranteed a time. Any time at all. You're not guaranteed anything. Anything you get. Any breath you have is a blessing from God. He wants you to come to him before it's too late. He wants you to be forgiven of your sins and make it to heaven before you end up in hell with the devil. He is waiting. He loves you. He doesn't care what you've done. He will forgive you. He will forgive you. But you have to come and ask from your heart. You have to believe in Jesus Christ. And you have to ask from your heart. Please come to him. And please ask him for help. Please ask him to forgive you. 
complete live for it before it's too late. I hope you have a good and blessed day. And I hope we can talk to you again soon. And I thank you so much for listening. And I hope God, uh, and I hope God will bless you. And I hope you could come to him. Thank you so much. Have a good day.